Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video and I received a lot of comments on the video about my uni life. A lot of people wanted to know how I got into LMU. So this is the video that I'm going to tell you guys my story and how I got into LMU basically. So I wrote a few things on my laptop. Um, I'm going to talk with my laptop this time. Okay, we're going to talk about applying in general first. Um, so basically, I graduated on... Um, I graduated in July 2021 from my high school and I got my IV diploma. And then I decided to apply to LMU and Goethe Universität, which is um, in Frankfurt. I decided to apply to both of them but I didn't really manage to get my German certificate on time so I had to wait um, and then I chose Alto Bamberg Universität which is a uni that's uh, pretty close to my family and to where I live before so um, they only required B2 level of German efficiency so um, I applied to Otto Bamberg first and I got in there for a, for a year and I still wanted to transfer to LMU. So it's a little bit different from how I got into LMU compared to the other people but mostly the same. Basically apply the same way as the other people who graduated last year. Um, the only difference is that I had a few subjects that I already passed in my previous year, a uh, previous year in Bamberg, so uh, I'm able to transfer in those ECTs to my new uh, uni, to my new study program, basically, because I'm still doing the same major. I did uh, European Economic Studies back then in Alto Bamberg Universität, and uh, now I'm doing VWL Volkswirtschaftslehre which is basically the same as economics. Yeah, so a lot of subjects are the same. The courses that I took uh, look pretty similar. So a lot of courses that I did before are able to count in my new syllabus. Therefore, I can't just, I can just like get my ECTs right away. Yeah, that's also why I chose LMU instead of Goethe Universität in Frankfurt. Because in Frankfurt, I have to do everything all over again. They don't count ECTs from other universities for freshman year. Yeah, so basically that's also a point. If you're transferring to LMU, you can check if, you're, um, if the previous courses that you did uh, is quite similar to your new syllabus, then you will be able to transfer your ECTs. That will save you a lot of time. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to transferring. Now we're going to talk about when to apply. The application time range in LMU is around uh, May to July, mostly. I think it starts from the 15th of May, if I remembered correctly. I didn't really double check, but you should definitely go check the time if you're applying. I know it's a little bit late to post this video right now because uh, it's already past the application time but if you're interested you can always apply for summer semester which is in I think you have to apply in December or November not sure but yeah time is important um, so if you're applying for winter semester for my subject you can only apply every winter semester but for other subjects, there are subjects that you can apply both in winter semester and summer semester. Um, if you're applying for next winter semester, then I strongly recommend you to send your application form as early as possible because if you are applying to the international office, it took a pretty long time for them to um, process your application. So the earlier the better. Also, the earlier you get the offer earlier and you'll stop stressing about whether I got in or not, right? Yeah, 
So that's the point. I think the deadline for non-NT courses, which means that there's no number limits, like there's no seat limits, uh, they can accept as many students as they want. But NC courses are the courses that there is a limited amount of place or like, yeah, that you can get in. So those subjects has a strict grade boundary requirements that you have to meet in order to apply, such as BVL, Betriebswirtschaftslehre, but like business administration in English, I think. But mine, uh, mine was NC course, but I think last year, from last year, they stopped doing NC for my for my major. It's now non NC, I think. But they change this every few years, so you do have to double check that. And for non NC courses, it's pretty easy to get in as long as you got your IB diploma or you have any diploma with you that's that will be recommended by the TAST. TAST is a German education system or like a recognition that they prove that your education system will be accepted by Germany or is accepted by Germany. Um, and they will give you like a paper, like a document that says how much of your grade is going to be in their German system, which is Abitur grades. Uh, for IB students, it will be recognized and um, mine was 39 if you watch my previous videos about checking my IB grades and so on I got 39 in my IB grades and that changes to Abitur grades into 1.5 I got the TAST rec uh, recognition through my high school because my high school is in Germany and they helped us to send our grades there and get the recognition so I didn't really do anything for that the school did it for us which is really good but if you're doing for yourself you better like go online and check how that works I applied every I sent all of my required documents to the international office per post I think they only accept per post per email does not work and because we are not international students in German schools, so we cannot apply through their online portal. So we had to send all the documents per post. I know it's pretty annoying and it get, it's even more annoying if it got lost and you don't know. So do remember to check your, to track your packages if you are uh, sending your documents to the international office. Uh, one thing really really annoys me last year was because um, I was missing a few paper in my first uh, package that I sent to the international office in Munich and I called them I was like I was asking if whether they received my package or not because I didn't use this because I didn't pay to track my package basically and um, I had to call to ask whether they received it and whether it's okay for me to double apply because a lot of unis they don't accept double applications if you apply twice and you'll automatically fail or anything so but they didn't answer me back they just say like um, you can send it one more time if you want but they can't check if my previous package was there, was seen or not, was like checked. Uh, so I sent it one more time and uh, it took me a very long time to wait because nobody gives you any hint on whether they checked your package, whether they actually received it, whether um, your information are correctly filled in or whatever, because there was not there wasn't a very clear um, tutorial or anything to help you fill in those paper and well there was a like simplified steps on the website but I don't think that's specified enough yeah and um, basically I sent it twice and thankfully the second one got accepted so I successfully got my offer 
and that was a bit of luck I would say so do remember to check all of your documents carefully before you send it to them yeah it was quite of a stressful period at that time at that time afterwards um, afterwards you just have to wait yeah that's it um, they will send you the offer per email yeah but if you're rejected, they will send you the rejection letter per post. Yeah, that's a little bit of a difference. Yeah. Uh, and for BVL, if you're interested in doing business, BVL is usually between uh, 1.8 to 2.3, I think. Depends on the average grades every year it fluctuates but it doesn't change like too big usually is like if you get 1.8 for your abitur you're usually safe um but for the past two years that's from what i heard from my my friends um the past two years they didn't accept any Diploma students except Abitur students, which is the German high school diploma so um, That's also a point I applied to business as well to BVL But I didn't get a place, but they waited until the last minute to send me the rejection letter so That's also pretty annoying. I, I wait for a very long time and it left me a very short time to find a place to live in Munich at the end because I got my like offer from Falvia afterwards they go through because you're only allowed to apply one NC course and one non-NC course for LMU, LMU and BVL business is NC and economics is non-NC so they go from NC first because NC took a long time and also NC was my first choice and they go through NC all the way to end of August and they sent me a rejection letter as well as a offer from Falvia end of August it's very very late to be honest because it's pretty hard to find a place to live in Munich but extremely hard in September to November I think because most of the students are going to Munich at that point so everybody wants a place to live oh a lot of people ask me about the language barrier whether you need German or not to study in Germany so uh, from for me I did bachelor well I'm doing bachelor studies right now and you do need German a pretty high level of German <laughs> to study for bachelor you need German C2 for, to apply to LMU or you can do the DSH which is a German test that's hosted in German universities and if you got DSH2 then you're also good to go yeah but for master programs I think they're mostly English and for a specific subject you do need to check their specific requirements but mostly in English I think uh, regarding the student nationality slash variety I would say mostly Germans of course German University and Asians are around 10 to 15 percent especially in Munich uh, LMU or TUM consists of uh, like 10 to 15 percent of Asians uh, and the rest will be like from all different countries experience in LMU I think uh, the education system in LM was pretty individual based uh, everyone can decide their own timetable their own uh, you know study pace and you're able to decide where to go whether you want to go to class or not there's no attendance or anything all you need to do is pass your exam that's it and um, I think there's a lot of freedom for university students about the exams uh, I think the exams are relatively hard compared to at least compared to my previous university uh, 
it is likely that you're, na you're not able to finish your paper on time because uh, there's a huge amount of questions and I would say it's usually one mark per minute. So if you're doing a two hour exam, then it's gonna be 120 marks. And if you're doing a 60 minutes exam, then it's gonna be 60 marks. So you don't really have the time to think. You just have to write, 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 write. Yeah. Okay, for, for my major, there's only one GOP class, which is microeconomics. And what does GOP mean? GOP is like the class that you have to pass in your first year. So basically you have two chances, first semester and second semester of your first year program. You have to pass the course, the GOP courses. If you did not pass it or if you fail it or if you didn't take it or anything, then you, ha you have to switch subjects. You have to switch major. Yeah, that's pretty harsh, I know. So yeah, that's basically it. That's all I wrote for how I got into LMU and a little bit of brief experience that I had in LMU. I've been studying for one year and I still have two years to go or like one and a half, I'm not sure. If you guys are interested, I'll post more LMU vlogs in the following semester. Uh, yeah. Or if you have any other questions or any other comments or any other interested topics that you want me to film or to talk about or to, you know, show you guys, just comment down below. See you next time. Bye.